Welcome! In this video, we will learn the process of performing cystocentesis. Cystocentesis, or the collection of urine from the bladder using a syringe and needle, is commonly performed for urinalysis and urine culture. There are eight steps to performing cystocentesis. The first step is to select the appropriate size needle and syringe based on the animal size and the samples needed. The second step is to aspirate the syringe to break the seal on the syringe and also break the seal on the cap. Step three, help the assistant to position the patient in dorsal recumbency. Step four, with the animal restrained, palpate the bladder with the non-dominant hand and push it backwards to stabilize it. Step five, apply alcohol to the skin and allow it to thinly pool along midline. Step six, insert the needle through the body wall on midline and into the bladder with the needle angled about 30 degrees towards the rear of the animal. Step seven, Gently aspirate urine into the syringe with the dominant hand. Do not redirect needle while aspirating. And step eight, release the pressure on the syringe plunger, then remove the needle from the abdomen. Let's walk through these steps individually. Step one, select the appropriate size needle and syringe based on the animal size and procedure. For most small animal patients, the appropriate size syringe will be a 6cc syringe, as we can see here, and the appropriate size needle will be a 22 gauge needle. Usually for dogs, we're going to want a one and a half inch needle and for cats, we will want a one inch needle. Step two, aspirate to break the seal on the syringe. Also break the seal on the cap and set it aside. Step three, help assistant to position patient in dorsal recumbency. Here we can see the assistants working together to move the dog's leg to one side or the other, to rotate her up onto her back. Note the assistant on the front is holding his arm across the dog's neck to keep her from biting or jumping off of the table. Remember, safety first. Step four, with the animal restrained, palpate the bladder with the non-dominant hand. If palpated, push it backwards to stabilize it. Here we can see Shanna feeling for the dog's bladder. Once she has it captured, she is going to push it backwards to hold it stable for aspiration. Step five, apply alcohol to the skin and allow it to thinly pool on midline. In a male dog, this is generally slightly off of midline adjacent to the penis. Here is the penis and the alcohol is being allowed to pool just to the side of it. In contrast, in a female dog, this location should be located on midline between the third and fourth sets of nipples. So here we can see Shanna applying alcohol to the skin and allowing to pull on midline. She is checking to make sure she sees the location of the third and fourth sets of nipples to make sure the alcohol is pooling where it should be. If too much tension is applied to the back legs, it can cause the alcohol to shift backwards towards the tail. Step six, insert the needle through the body wall on midline and into the bladder with the needle angled about 30 degrees towards the rear of the animal. This is done, as you can see here, with the bladder stabilized to keep it from getting away when the needle goes in. In cases where the bladder cannot be palpated, the needle should be inserted through the body wall on midline at the point of greatest alcohol accumulation. In the male dog, this position is going to be on midline just slightly to the side of the penis with the penis pushed to one side the needle is inserted at about a 30 degree angle towards the back of the animal. In the female, when the bladder cannot be palpated, the needle is going to be inserted at the point of maximal alcohol pooling. Step seven, gently aspirate urine into the syringe with the dominant hand. Do not redirect the needle while aspirating. Shan is using her non-dominant hand to hold the syringe stable so that the needle doesn't waffle around and she's being very careful not to redirect the needle. Finally, in step eight, release pressure on the syringe plunger and then remove the needle from the abdomen. That's it. So let's review the eight steps of cystocentesis. First, Select an appropriate size needle and syringe based on the animal size and procedure. 
you're going to want a 6cc syringe for pretty much any dog or cat. You'll want a 22 gauge needle, which should generally for a dog be a 1.5 inch long needle and for a cat be a 1 inch needle. You'll aspirate to break the seal on the syringe and also break the seal on the cap and set it aside. Help the assistant to position the patient in dorsal recumbency, always remembering safety first. With the animal restrained, palpate the bladder with the non-dominant hand and push it backwards to stabilize it. Apply alcohol to the skin and allow it to thinly pool along midline. Now, in a male dog, this is generally slightly off of midline adjacent to the penis, often with the penis just slightly pushed out of the way. In a female, this is going to be located directly on midline between the third and fourth set of nipples. If the alcohol appears to be pooling in a different spot than that, check and make sure that the dog's legs are not being held too far backwards. Step six, insert the needle through the body wall on midline and into the bladder with the needle angled about 30 degrees towards the rear of the animal. Needle depth will depend on the animal species and size. For a big dog, you're probably going to have to insert that one and a half inch needle all of the way. For a really little dog or a cat, we will often only go half of the way in with a one inch needle. If the bladder cannot be palpated, you'll insert the needle through the body wall on midline at the point of greatest alcohol accumulation, generally halfway between the last two sets of nipples, again with the needle angled about 30 degrees towards the rear of the animal. Step seven, gently aspirate urine into the syringe with the dominant hand. Do not redirect the needle while aspirating. And step eight, Release the pressure on the syringe plunger, then remove the needle from the abdomen. Now it's your turn. 